make sure you use this always. No matter if you're around people. <sighs> Welcome to the video. As you could tell, how to deal with people on my new series, Low Key Advice. All right, so look, I got other content on the way. I got other music on the way. I got other things initiating too. So I just wanted to say, you know, I appreciate all the support, you know. And if y'all remember how old things used to be, well, things got a little different now. So look, this is how we're going to do it. I have some, you know, 10 ways on how you can start dealing with people. But I'm going to be breaking down why you should, you know, actually use these. Because, like, the way that the planet is going is, you know, everything is getting more... Um, what's easy so uh, people they lost access to you know having the abilities to you know be around people people got social anxiety now people got some type of you know they can't fully be able to tell uh, how they they individually stand on subjects or in the matters of hand of you know when they're around people you know people some you know they can't get to uh, grips of what they really you know want to do and that's because of the internet but the internet also is also uh you know helping me be able to you know put this in front of you so you can have the information for you to know so it's not necessarily like internet just a bad thing but it's just like using the internet too much without having um any you know using something that you got to actually work and not you know just let it do it for you you know you got to actually have a uh A life and you know you can't just let the uh, the robot the internet the online you know be choosing for you so um so but basically to get grips of what i just told you was to let you know that what you've been going through if you people or you if you're not somebody that's out there if you're somebody that's you know you don't know how to deal with people you don't know how to be around people you can't actually um you know feel comfortable in a environment around others then you will need to I'm speaking to the mic like the mic is like picking it up like I think the camera picking it up though but if you can't speak to others in a light of like you know not caring how they feel or think about you then that that could be a you know a reason why this video should help you but all right, let's get right into it though so you know the first thing you know first thing that i think people who can't deal with people should start participating in is listen actively and show genuine interest in what another person have to say so whenever you are in a environment where it's convos and you know you're not necessarily a convo list, well try to be more a listener and you know be show that you are genuinely interested in what the person is you know showing or telling you know because if you do that you know then they could lead the conversation for you and you just got to reply and you know sometimes not you know but it, it's a good way for you to ease into you know if you're a person who who is extrovert or you always inside you always you know you don't go into a, a spot where you you can talk to others right so for you to uh you know practice this you know you could actually call and see well using calling calling is to you know get something going to you know it's not so you can just be on the phone all day. It's like calling is like you get some information to that person. They know what's going to happen and then y'all go meet up. You know, it's not supposed to be you just, you know, talk over the phone, FaceTime. I don't know what else y'all use. A lot of shit. But second, second thing on how to, uh, how to, uh, 
deal with people. Be respectful and consider their feelings and opinions. You know, because sometimes, you know, y'all, you could just come off no manners, you know, straight up like another person don't exist. Like you is all you. It's like, yo, you have some self entitlement, you know, and this could make you feel like that people have to bend in to what you got to say or what you, what your opinion is. But, you know, you know, just if, if it's if it's in an appropriate light, then you know you shouldn't have to really care about a person's feelings or their opinions. But you know, if it's something that uh, like if it's like a crowd that you're targeting, like you're trying to go for a specific group of people, then you will you know you have to talk the way that you talk for that people to appear. But if you know you're expressing yourself or you you know you can't deal with people then you you know you will need to put yourself in a circumstance where you know you did the the uh time to think to yourself and you know uh you already can consider uh somebody else's you know emotional stance of what if you said this and you know um and if you have to say something about somebody just know that of course they're gonna have an opinion okay and then like that that's just be you know if you out uh you say you walk in your dog or something or i don't know if you got no dog <laughs> or you just going for a walk you know if you see somebody they wave at you you know just say hey you know don't don't look down look at your phone like you outside they waved at you you know don't don't get nervous because of somebody you know trying to initiate a conversation you have to allow it to flow out you know you don't don't let that you know that Oh, they they waved at me. Oh, they they see me. Don't let that be the reason that you don't you don't you know. But like, have a good day. You know, greet them. Now, the third way on how to deal with people, you have to communicate clearly and effectively using both verbal and non-verbal, you know, cadence. So basically, you know, you gotta be like. Hey, or you waving like that's nonverbal. Or hey, come over. Oh hi, how are you doing today? You know, like like you know. Or like I'm just saying some things. Like if you walking, or if you see your neighbor, if you got a connection, if you locked in with them motherfuckers like that, be like oh, how's it going, Tom? How's it going, Sarah? Like if y'all locked in like that, like don't be like a person like oh that's Sarah. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna say nothing to them. If you know them and y'all like got a, a connection, like y'all like when I say connection, y'all just aware of each other and y'all glance at each other. You can wave. You can say something, and you know, it don't always gotta be, hey, you know, and, and it don't always gotta be, cause sometimes people they can't see that, so you gotta you know, communicate it, talk it, verbalize it, but. That's uh you know another way for you to deal with people is always communicate yourself to the best ability that you can and you know and go at the pace that you know is not just uh you trying to keep up with others you know you get if you gotta use um nonverbal to get your point across then let it be like sometimes you know shit don't have to, enough is said. Now, four, practice empathy and try to understand, you know, another person's perspective. So, like, when you are, you know, dealing with people, like, when people come to you and, you know, you don't know how to, like, you know, actually keep it, keep it going. You don't know how to just be like, oh, you know, talk about it, you know, have some empathy, be like, you know. Be like, oh, if that was me, how would this go? Or, you know, just try to, like, look from their point of view and see if, what your point of view is like. And this is actually something that could really, you know, um, help you start to deal with more people. Um, now, fifth thing, if you have any trouble with uh, dealing with people, you 
we'll need to be patient and understand, especially in challenging situations. So by either if you extrovert or if people come into you, you know, just go at your pace, like I said, you know, be patient, like being patient, you know, staying, staying, you know, ready and, you know, having um, an understanding of the whole situation by, um, you know, all the the challenging, uh, you know, because if you if you put yourself out there, you would go through a lot of the arguments or a lot of situations where people will just be in their own attitude and, you know, try to put it onto you. And, you know, if you're not a person that used to that, then you could be very tender. So, you know, but if you if you go through that, be patient and have, you know, uh, understanding about the situation. Maybe, you know, they went through a whole circumstance and when you blast you blast your fire on them that that could be they la- like see i know they caught it upon that so but hey it could be they last you know straw because you know they y'all put yourself in a circumstance where the, the tensions was heated but six find a common ground and focus on the areas of that agreement so if you with somebody and you know y'all are not a person our music's gonna be playing but it, let's think of it as like some um some motherfucking elevator music but um so just know that like uh when you're dealing with people you will need to put yourself in a circumstance where uh everybody who is involved with it you know y'all y'all got your own agreements and y'all know where y'all disagree at and y'all stay away from those areas and you stay away in the agreeing areas but if you need to show that you disagree you just you don't you don't have to be with that person in that party unless you know you have to come to some type of uh agreement on the circumstance and then y'all focus on that instead of focus on what is going wrong and that's how a, a, a way you can deal with another deal with people or deal with you know not going maintain a positive attitude and approach to conflicts with you know maintain a positive attitude and approach to conflicts with you know if you are going to go outside just make sure that you know just everything is awesome make sure everything you know that's what we're there, that's what we're doing. You know, like, call things out and, you know, so you can do the point and not just, you know, in a, in a, in a way where you see things and just like, oh, that was a butterfly. No, you know, just like, oh, that was a butterfly. You know, um, get your own hands out and then, you know, you can start seeing people and be like, oh, this person, and then you just can't get off the You just can't get off the road talking to people. You just can't avoid making you know judgment assumption and start to make up the line in two situations so start to put yourself in circumstances where you know people are you know not and you think you're okay, okay, another mic is coming, you don't know about to play. If you was to, you know, try it and see if they, and then they, it turns out they, oh yeah, I fuck with that, but they into it. Because in your head, you just thought they were that, so you just, you know, 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 the topic that you was, you know, discussing. Nine. Make sure you have your boundaries set and be assertive with what you need. And being assertive is direct. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't let nobody make you feel like you can't do that. You gotta tell them how to you know whether it's you know, somebody you know, talking to you. Nine. Alright, then nine. But ten. Ooh, how to deal with people. I this saying have good manners to treat others how you want to be treated and respect it. Make sure you know um, the kindness is it's not something that you just you know um, wanna you know um, could, if, if if you could and then they just <laughs> that's when you uh, you know you don't don't just hug in. Okay? Don't just be like here. And then they hey, they take it and throw it at your face. So just make sure, you know, if if it's respect in there, if it's, you know, they respect your boundaries, you respect their boundaries, then it's something that you could keep participating with. But if it's something that don't, 
and you don't have to keep going. Just know uh, when you're dealing with people, if 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 they're you know coming coming at you with a um stutter, yeah. they coming at you with with a uh, some type of manner that is like you know disrespectful. It, it's up to you to see if you want to deal with that client or if you want to go out there and approach people make sure that you have you know a good manner you know you're not just you know treating others like shit make sure you have some type of uh morals and respect to you but that was how to deal with people it's kind of like two topics in one if you really think about it like i was explaining to you how to go and approach people and I also was explaining to how you could deal with people if they come to you with their issues but um you know I, I wanted to tell everybody who you know come to my, my part of videos and actually you know fuck with me I wanted to tell y'all that you know I truly appreciate you and everything that you know is from here is up and stay tuned peace Love.